Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Santa's Craft Keller. Today I am going to make this clay mural that represents the culture of Assam. For that we need fevicryl molded clay and a waste cardboard. Mix the molded clay into a fine dough as shown in this video. Paste the clay on the cardboard in a circular shape and smoothen it out with the help of your fingers and a little bit of water. Now I am going to make a cut in round shape inside this circle with the help of this cap as shown in this video. Now make some patterns here as shown in this video. Take a piece of foil paper and give it the shape of a cone. Now cover it with some clay and smoothen it out. Moving forward, we are going to shape the paper where the outline has already been drawn out. I have used reference pictures from internet so that it looks as accurate as possible. And the same goes for the japi, dhol and gamusa as well. Now it's time to make the dhol. I am making some lines here with the help of this tool so that it resembles a dhol. Then I noticed that there is a uh, gap between the gamusa and the dhol. So I am adding some foxtail orchids here in between. The foxtail orchid, popularly known as kopo full in Assam, is used by the Assamese Bihu dancers as an ornamental flower. Kopo full is mainly associated with uh, Rongali Bihu and it is very close to the hearts of Assamese people. covering the dhol with a piece of rolled out clay and it will act as a gamusa. Now I am adding some strings to the dhol. taken a piece of clay and rolled out the clay into a thin layer and cut them into small triangle shapes. I will paste these triangles on the japi to create some textures and give it an authentic look. To make the gamusa, I have taken a piece of clay and rolled it out into a thin layer as shown here. Now I am adding some folds and creases here and there so that it looks like a real piece of clothing. After 
after the clay work has dried up completely, I am going to apply a layer of white gesso. Applying a layer of white paint helps the other colors to pop out and be more vibrant. Now I am adding some golden color to the japi. Now I am adding a mix of golden and brown color to the doll. I am adding another coat of white color to the gamusas. For the japi, I am using a combination of green and red color. We can also find a combination of other colors like blue, green, red, black, etc. After the first layer has dried up, take some white color and highlight the foxtail orchid. Now I'm adding some details to the gamusa wrapped around the dhul. Now I'm adding details on the two gamusas. Clay work is almost done and only the background and the border is left to be colored. So here is my final product. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed watching my video and please share and subscribe to my channel if you like to see more of my craft works. Thank you for watching.